All right, I'm Justin Williams Savoy. Right now I'm sitting outside on the patio and I'm kind of uh, thinking of a few different um, things that have to do with DC hardcore and the DC hardcore scene. This is banned in DC. This is uh, photos and anecdotes from the DC Punk Underground 79 through 85. And there is HR of the Bad Brains fame. Um, so, I already showed a few uh, things that I have from Discord records. And um, I made some TikToks that some of you may have seen. And they are promising to review some CDs from my Punk and Hardcore collection. Um, I'm now collecting vinyl slowly. You know, it's a slow thing. I have many hobbies, likes, and interests. My primary interests are books and literature. At one time, I was collecting antiquarian books. Um, and I will be getting back into that stuff as well, but steady as she goes. So just kind of documenting this and vlogging this for myself. And hey, guys, sorry about the camera angle, but it's just going to be the way that it is. Um, right now, it's like a dimmer of my camera with the sunlight. I can turn that off, I think. I think I look through the features, but I just want to make this video and get it done with so um, And I promise to review some of these CDs I'm not gonna give much feedback about what I think about each band. I mean, I may give some of my personal opinion, but this is the first um, Box set of CDs here 20 years of discord. It's three CDs 73 songs 21 unreleased and 134 page book so if you saw the TikToks, I showcased a bunch of CDs in my collection, but this is from like Bands like the Teen Idols, the Untouchables, State of Alert, Minor Threat, Void, Youth Brigade, Government Issue, Scream, Iron Cross, Red Sea, Deadline, Artificial Peace, Faith, Skewbald, Marginal Man, Grey Matter, Rites of Spring, Beef Eater, The Snakes, Dag Nasty, Embrace, Soulside, Egg Hunt, One Last Wish, uh, Fire Party, Ignition, Three, Shudder to Think, Happy Go Lucky, Fugazi, Lungfish, Fidelity Jones, The Nation of Ulysses, Holy Rollers, Jawbox, Severin, The Highback Chairs, Autoclave, Circus Lupus, Branch Manager, Slant Six, Hoover, Trusty, Smart Went Crazy, uh, The Crone Hate Ruin, The Warmers, The Makeup, Blue Tip, Far Quest, Q, and Not You. Many of these bands I didn't really listen to, but a lot of them I was definitely into State of Alert, definitely into the Teen Idols, um, definitely into Minor Threat, Youth Brigade, Void, Faith. Um, so here we go. Um, this three, Teen Idols, Teen Idols again, The Untouchables, State of Alert, two songs by Minor Threat, two by Government Issue, another Minor Threat song actually, Youth Brigade, Rosalind Rangers, Void, Void, Scream, Deadline, Faith. Marginal Man, Dag Nasty, Fugazi, Fugazi, Shudder to Think, Circus Lupus, Slant Six, Interview. And um, some of these groups I have seen. Um, saw Fugazi at the Wow Hall in Eugene way back in the day, like early 90s, I think. So uh, here's the famous picture. I've had this on social media before. And here's the back. It's, what is it? Ian McKay and Jeff Nelson here. And there's the vo famous uh, Void Faith split here. I see Necros in this picture. Faith. Pretty dope. Flex your head. Office looks cleaner in their older days. <laughs> uh, so, and then this booklet's got like, uh, here I just got this Nation of Ulysses. I showed another video with that CD and I dig nasty there. I don't really hold this up for long, but photographs, all kinds of stuff. Can't really see right now because of the brightness and the reflection, but different bands. Cool stuff, this booklet here. CDs. Oh, I love this right here too, the cover of this. Uh, what is, is it looks like, it, are those like even cassettes or what? But they're all handwritten on there. Can you see that? Pretty cool. And really, I'm just kind of getting back into it. During the pandemic, I picked these up, and I thought CDs would be good because of the fact that 
I do have a CD player in my car and I love tactile uh, media. It's like a good way for me to kind of slow it down and really think rather than so much bullshit streaming at me all at once. It's the Flex Your Head. Do you re recognize this? Flex Your Head comp, teen idols, untouchables, state of alert, minor threat, government issue, youth brigade, Red Sea Void, Iron Cross, artificial peace, deadline love, Iron Cross. And then the I have more, I don't know, I'm missing one of my Fugazi CDs. It's probably in my car. I kind of went through a kick of listening to a lot of Fugazi again. I've listened to tons of Fugazi in my life, but this is like steady diet of nothing. Printed on like a kind of like a cardstock paper. And I have started to collect vinyl again, but like I said, slowly, kind of an extremist. So when I get into it, I get into it. And I've had huge collections, I've had times where times of great bounty and other times where I've lost just about everything. This is still a sealed version of a uh, repeater. I'm going to pick up a bunch of discord stuff on vinyl. So I'll probably listen to it that way instead. But if I want to listen to repeater in my car, I know that the other, some of my other Fagazi stuff is probably in my vehicle right now. I've been listening to a lot of bad brands, Fagazi stuff like that. Love this right here. Dag nasty. Can I say? I think Travis Barker has that tattooed on him, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know, kind of a weird little obscure fact there. Um, so yeah, Dag Nasty. Some of these bands have different incarnations and like different singers or different members and stuff, but um, I don't know. like. When you're younger, you tend to get like super into it. I mean, I am into it. I'm interested and fascinated, but I have so many other likes and interests and hobbies and stuff. So, minor threat. And this is almost, I think, the complete discography here. I'm pretty sure. A diff really different color. I had this CD before as a kid and just like wore the shit out of that thing. Like it was a red cover. had a minor threat tattoo of this actually it's no longer with us same with my misfits tattoo that i used to have out of step minor threat and there's a lot more DC stuff that I have a bunch of bad brands on CD now. Like I said, I want to get a bunch of that stuff on vinyl. I definitely want to look for stuff like Iron Cross and stuff like that. And this is a great book, Band in DC, which I already have showed. And I made a short video on it before. Um, as you can see, there's just all kinds of pictures. There's like one of the famous Discord shirts supposedly there's never official ones but i think jeff nelson or something sells them on his website uh, those things are kind of sought after but with the internet they're not that hard to find all kinds of cool pictures so that's just a small portion of dc stuff i had but i've just been contemplating it today i've been looking into a lot of uh, right now i'm like listening to a bunch of reggae and i'm going way back to even the old stuff i used to listen to palma um stuff what crab a blue beat so many record labels just upsetter stuff like um trojan what have you and i've been enjoying my time doing that and trying to choose a direction to go in because i love so much experimental like drone post black metal stuff and like avant-garde stuff that's on vinyl which is really kind of cool to collect and a lot of like 70s um, stuff which is also very fascinating to me so i have to make the decision in which direction to go with that but there's time for that and it's all fascinating and 
I'm just going to revisit a bunch of this stuff. Like I said, I just got a Nation of Ulysses CD2 that I showcased on my last video when I showed some vinyl and stuff. And um, read this book again. I had this book as a kid, you know, and the internet wasn't anything like what we see today. So I just would go through these books, pour through them. There's another book about Gilman Street. And I used to go to that venue and see shows all the time as a very young guy. And then um, Ashland, Oregon. Uh, there was all kinds of good shows coming through there in the 90s, down in Oakland, Berkeley, and then up in Portland. That's where I'd seen the majority, majority of the stuff I've seen. When I lived in Southern California, um, I was pretty young. I mean, I was there through part of my high school as well, but um, when I was really involved in all that, I didn't really get to see um, many punk or hardcore shows. I did get to participate in some scene stuff there, but it was uh, pretty limited, and my focus and direction was kind of in a different um, way. Um, I do like a lot of uh, oi, a lot of street rock and roll, 77 punk, um, just so much. I love, I was talking to the owner of a record store about uh, a lot of the post-punk stuff and, you know, of course, Joy Division and um, New Order and things like that. But there's much, much more, um, um, like, Blitz, when they kind of went more post-punk, I really enjoy that, too. And then, like, old-school Blitz, just kind of real quintessential street rock and roll, kind of, I would consider it, like, oi, um, as well. So... I'll be making more videos about music. It's really fun for me to do this and just kind of document my likes and interests. Maybe I'll show this to my children and grandchildren someday. Uh, who really knows? But this is Justin Williams Savoy. I'm going to enjoy the sun, have a beer and kick back, um, spend some time. My children are going to be here and uh, just doing the thing, hanging out in the yard, enjoying life, probably do some reading. Hang out with my girlfriend later. All right. Peace.